Hey everybody, welcome to McClanahan Stringed Instruments. My name is Jonathan McClanahan, and in my hands here I have the legendary Don Brown Lore. This is uh, February 18th, 1924, Lloyd Lore, that I done an extensive uh, repair on and restoration, and you will be seeing this in the upcoming video, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. This mandolin here is known in uh, in the lore circle as being one of the pre very premier Lloyd lores. Out of all the ones I've worked on and um, throughout the years and and played, this one right here is in the top. I would say top two, top two, top three. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing mandolin. And uh, but the owner. Tim Dillman um, has had some issues, and C.J. Londowski has been playing it too as well. And uh, they both noticed that the neck joint was coming loose. It had been coming loose uh, for a while. Kind of, you know, there was a telltale sign of a, a little crack right there. Not a crack in the wood, but a crack in the finish. So, and also, this this other side of the of the bell going into the scroll is pulling up. So I'm going to address that as well. Tim decided to go ahead and let's do a uh, neck reset on it. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking out the frets and then I'm going to slowly take the fingerboard off. Um, I will be able to preserve this fingerboard 100% and the binding on the side. So the binding will not be touched. Uh, by no way, shape, nor form. It'll have original binding on it, have original pearl dots, and then um, it is going to get refretted. The frets are worn out anyway. And then I'll come in and I will steam this neck out, pull the neck out, and I've got a lot of cleaning up to do, a lot of residue cleanup. 100% it will be put back as hide glue. Also, here's one thing too uh, for the um, mandolin world and instrument world in general. Most of the time when you get um, a heel cap that releases and the dovetail releases, what that does is that poundage, I think it's 125 pounds of pressure if I'm not mistaken, um, tuned at 440, it begins to lift rather than pull back, the pressure lifts on the neck. So in that lifting, you get added pressure on the top. With that pressure, it begins to bow. It begins to bow the body, and then with that pressure is why you get separated seams in the back. All right, so here is the problem. Originally, CJ and I and uh, Tim Dillman, one of the issues, main issues I told them about was the um, head block, this, this um, continuation of the um, of the rim going around the head block over here to this side was popped out. That's that's a huge part of the stability. The reason why that popped out was because this had cracked. All right, another thing, the reason why it was cracked on on the this side and separating in this side, me and CJ and Tim had uh, talked a lot about that was because of this right here that right there and that piece of maple right here
There it is. That's the culprit. Right there. Because of the stress over here, that right there broke at the mineral line. And now, then it also, there was a hairline crack in this right here that I seen and but this right here is actually from this here right here this is the rim the extension of the rim on this side it goes like that on the at the Florentine point this is going toward the scroll and this was bulging out. The reason why that was bulging out is because this was broke. I'm going to take this out, expose the dovetail, which will also expose it on this side as well. This is the part that was bulging. All right, so I got all of the gunk of the hide glue and the, um, I guess you would call it splinters from the, from the pieces that broke um, out. And so what I've got to do now is I've got to rebuild um, all of the pieces that are missing there. I'm going to attempt to get you up to speed here and show you uh, what I've done. Now what, what this is right here, somebody had attempted uh, before to, um, this is a dowel. And um, this, like I said in the, in the previous videos, this neck had been removed before. And one reason, one thing I can show you that proves it too, is you can see this right here. This was pulled out, and it was previously glued, but then the dowel piece also. All right, so what I have done here is this. I traced the contour of the dovetail of the neck, okay? And I traced it exact. And actually, I ran it over about a 32nd of an inch. Uh, so I would have some, you know, some room to carve away anything I needed to carve away. All right. So what I've done from there is I countersunk this back three sixteenths of an inch, flushed it up with this 15th fret divider. And this is perfectly flat all the way down flat chisel all the way down perfectly flat not one gap in there and then as you can see right here against this chisel the dovetail is perfectly flat all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to inlay a piece of mahogany and you'll see uh back up just a second you'll see this ledge right here that ledge is actually the the part of the back that glues obviously to this head block now this all right here as you see with this ledge this right here had been taken down before and you can tell right here because of the roughness of this binding and where this uh this had pulled out uh was also an indication as well and this is not um perfectly flat I've got to build it up as well, but I'm going to glue this part onto this right here and have that as a base. Bring it out here and glue it all the way out to here and rebuild, and then the dovetail will come into here, and that will be a rebuilding of this whole arm of this dovetail. And it will be undetectable when I'm done. You will not be able to tell. It will not be able to, won't be able to tell at all. Now, on this part, on this ear over here, 
I made this cut vertical. So what I'll do is when it, once this is in and glued in and everything, then I will glue the top uh, ear over here on this side on top where it belongs, and then the whole dovetail will be rebuilt. Okay. On all vintage instruments, I want to always go back to uh, to original. Yeah. Take a look at how nice this looks. Fits in there just like a puzzle. All right, so let's move to the neck part of the dovetail and I'll take you through what I've done with this. I had to inlay that whole piece of that dovetail. Now, what I did do is I searched far and wide for, um, it took me a good while, but I searched for end grain, um, a piece of maple, that matched the grain and you can see right there that it's 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 a perfect match it's really strange it took me a long time to find that but um i got that matched in there i inlaid that and it came all the way in to the all the way up to here See that line? It went like that right there. And this was the chunk that was um, remained in the dovetail on the body. Actually, on this side right here, over here. So, but that came out perfect for strength purposes. What I done was uh, just to um, um, bring it all together, pack it in tight and give it extra supports. I shimmed on this side, you can see right there, a piece of maple. And I used very old, very, very old maple. Shimmed that, and then if you look right here, I also shimmed that side of the dovetail. And what that does is that just gives it the strength of lamination. And anybody that, uh, if you're familiar with woodworking or whatever, everybody knows how how um, strong lamination is. And I also came, I wanted to laminate and kind of, kind of, you know, tighten up, just give everything boxed in. I also uh, took off um, not even a sixteenth of an inch, probably a thirty second off of the heel and then added this thin, thin shim right here to, um, to give it a perfect base to glue on at the bottom. And it is, it's perfect flat to the bottom cavity of the dovetail here. All right, we've reached a point now to where the, we're going, I'm gonna be gluing the neck into this, the body of this Lloyd Lore mandolin. And I get asked a lot, by a lot of uh, a lot of luthiers. Now, how do you know when the dovetail is ready to glue in? Whenever you do get it where it's right, when you really know that the dovetail is ready to glue in, this is kind of a test that I always do. Whenever you whenever you got it to where you hear this, that right there says that dovetail is ready to glue in. Whenever you heard me press that in and you could hear the squeaking, you know that that wood is going to be welded together between the dovetail of the neck, the dovetail of the body. And here's, here's a prime example of what I'm talking about. You can shake the, the instrument and the dovetail will not come out. 100% success on this um repair this neck reset and and head block rebuild and um it's just i've been playing it mark mcglash and come over here a couple of days ago and played it and i'm going to upload and put his part of the video in this as well and um it's just it's just come out perfect i'm so happy with it so let's go ahead and hear it a little bit more and um, let you hear what it's sounding like <laughs>
chops, fast neck. All right, thank you so much for tuning in to McClanahan Stringed Instruments. I appreciate it. If you like this content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.